it's your girl M, and I'm back with another cooking video for you today. And today I'm doing Taste the States, Minnesota. I am making hot dish casserole. Now for Minnesota, there were a lot of different things I could do for Minnesota, but the one that I saw most often was the hot dish casserole. And I think in the Midwest, casserole is just like king. Everybody makes casserole. So I wanted to make the hot dish casserole. And Vaughn was especially interested when it mentioned tater tots because he loves tater tots. Let me go ahead and show you guys my ingredients. This is gonna be such a simple little recipe. It's not even funny. Ingredients are tater tots two cans of cream of mushroom, diced yellow onion, frozen green beans cut, and frozen corn. These are both thawed out. And I will also be using a pound of ground beef. I just thawed it. We'll be using Tony's onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, olive oil, you know, the usual. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. It's already preheated. What we're gonna do first is we're going to add some olive oil to our pan. We're gonna add our onions. I'm using a yellow onion. You could use a, uh, you could use white onions, whatever onions you have, but I saw that yellow onions were the ones most commonly used. Then we're gonna take our salt. And our pepper. Turn this on. And we're just gonna let our onions cook until they get translucent, you know the deal. All right, my onions are looking good. They're ready to go. And now I'm gonna add my pound of ground beef. I'm gonna start breaking it down into chunks, getting it all incorporated with the onions. Once it's cooked a bit more, I'll go ahead and add my seasonings. Add garlic powder, onion powder, Tony's, some regular pepper. I already salted the onions and I don't want it to be too salty because I'm also adding cream of mushroom soup. And that has a bit of salt to it, so I'm not gonna add any more salt. Give it a nice good mix. And I'm also actually gonna add some Worcestershire sauce because I think that'll give it a little more oomph. I love Worcestershire sauce. It adds so much to dishes. I'm just gonna let this cook a little bit longer. It's almost done. See? It's almost done. Just gonna let it cook a little bit longer. It is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my baking dish. I'm gonna spread it out on the bottom. Ooh, actually. Had to put it under one of my hot mats. Okay, so I'm gonna spread this out evenly to make a nice bottom layer. Okay. Take my green beans and my corn. I'm 
I'm just gonna spread my green beans on top here. Nice even layer. And then I'm also gonna take my corn. My hands are clean and this is my food, so I'm using my hands. <laughs> it's just easier. I'm gonna add my corn to right on top. Another nice layer. That's what casseroles are all about, layers. Okay. Then we're gonna take our condensed cream of mushroom soup. We're gonna add that on top. Do a nice little spread, 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 spread. And spread out that cream of mushroom soup. Doesn't have to look, look super pretty. It's just a casserole. It's gonna bake, it's gonna get all you know, acquainted in the pan anyways. So just spread it around. I'm gonna add another can. Worked out pretty perfectly. One side has one can and the other side has the other. it out and now the fun part and the fun part is we're gonna take our tater tot And we're just gonna place them right on top. Just right in a row next to each other. Right up on each other. Just gonna add some salt on top. And some pepper. I'm gonna put it in the oven. Like I said, it's preheated to 350 degrees. And I'm gonna put it in there for about 45 minutes to an hour. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm not even, jo I'm not even joking, this smells so good. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer and we're gonna dive into this. It smells so bomb. It's bubbling. Oh, it looks so good. I cannot wait to try it. I'm gonna let it cool for just a little bit because I don't want it to fall totally apart once I take it, once I cut into it. So I'm gonna let it chill for a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and dish myself up some and we'll do a taste test. Oh, 
it looks so good. Look who's around the corner. Oh, wow. Vaughn already tried it and he said it was so, so good. So now it's my turn. It's my turn to try. Okay, who are you talking to, Abel? It's hot, but this is good. This is so bomb. Yum. I always forget Vaughn can eat like food straight out of the oven. I don't know why or how, but he can't. He just eats it right up. He doesn't feel the hot, I guess. Oh my gosh. This is good. This is a good casserole. I hope you guys enjoyed this Taste the States cooking video from Minnesota. I made hot dish casserole. This is really, really delicious. I know Midwest is all about casseroles and also I know Mid Minnesota gets so freaking cold so I can understand why this is a favorite up there. It's nice and warm and cozy and it's so simple to make be sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you think be sure to follow my twitter at m and man and my instagram at midwest mansfield abel's gonna go pout because i'm not giving him any and i will see you guys in the next video mwah, mwah, mwah.